Hi everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Abdullah. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use a list builder and a grid builder. I'm going to go ahead and click this. And then this time, I'll instead of calling a container or another class or something from my body, I want to actually use a widget called list view builder. I'll explain what this widget does in a bit. So since we are using lists, I have this list of items. I call them my living things, which is so funny because most of them are my only living things. I have living things like cards, pig, and you can see I have projectors, irons, soil, camera, roads. They are all living things, mobile phones. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, it's my list. If you don't understand, please your own list. I have this list of items, a list of string living things. And what this list will actually help me to do is to help me display these items in a list form on my screen. So how are we going to do that? So I'm going to go ahead and go to the code. This list will go down. This um, properties, scroll direction. My default is axis of vertical. I'm just going to axis of vertical. And then it is an item count. An item count. It takes an item builder. Item builder. It also takes an item extent. I'll explain all of this in a case. The item counts is actually the length of the data that you want to show in the list view on the screen. So in my case, I want to show the number of the items here. They are one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't really know. And in some cases, you don't really know the number of items that will be coming. Especially when I'm using something like Firebase and I'm reading from a collection. You may not have an idea how much data you have. So in simple things, how I want to do this is to use my living things list and I'll call the length of the list. And so I don't have to worry about counting these things manually. I just have to provide the living things list to the length. And then this item builder also takes some build context. Context or something. And then I int index. This is just a variable. And then this item builder will actually give you an error if you don't return anything in it. So for now, I want to return a container. Container. Okay. So I will talk about this item extent later. Okay, and my container, I want to color it. And I'm going to say colors dot green. And this container will have a child text. Some data. Some data how to reload. So you can see how we have this from data and then it prints it one, two, three, four. So if you really get them to count this, you can see that this will be the same as the length of the items you have here. This list view the Goda runs like a loop with respect to the length of this item count. So it's like a loop running at any time this index increases from zero one two three all the way up to really show you this i'm going to call it of, uh, 90 0 and then a width of i want the width to fill the whole screen in the horizontal plane so i'm going to use this for media query dot context dot size 
dot weight dot weight. Okay, so it's going to query this current window and then look for the weight of the device you're on. Since I just said media query dot of size dot blah 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 dot weight, this is the whole weight of the screen. I can also use something like this. And said I want 36% of the screen. And if you just look for this screen, since I said size, weight, you look for the size of the weight of the screen, then give you 30% of it. The same way if you use size dot height to do the same thing, it will look for the height of the window you are in, that the device window, and then give you 30% of it. Right now, I just want to use the whole weight, so I'm going to go ahead with I don't want to say 36%, I want to say And then I'm going to do this. I would say that if the modulus of the index is equal to zero, I want to show something. Else, I want to show another thing, color of red. You can see how I have my beautiful alternating colors here and all that. Okay, so I really want to show you what this thing actually does. So, to show you more, I just want to put it in a template with it. Then, so I'm going to type in a text. Sorry, I want to show the current index. And then dot. And then my living things list. Living. Living things. At the current index. So you can see my items have the same thing on the screen and with the alternating colors and these numbers attached in front of them. You can see that's actually looping through my list giving things. The one has the zeroth index, the first index, second, all the way up to 19th index. So like I said earlier on, this list you would have to build that as like a for loop or a while loop whichever one you want to call it. So you can see that at some point this index was zero. So I came for living things at that index, at the zero index, which is the first index here, the part. Then it goes on to the second. This index actually increases to one. And then I go for the item at the first position, which is big, then you can continues all the way to the end. So that's how the list view builder actually does. If I decide to add any other thing, a, some text data, see that they are all gonna have that. So actually, it's just one container just one container but then because this thing is really run several times the values may change based on your index actually based on how you're actually using your list okay so that'll be it for a little view builder we'll quickly move on to the grid view builder so the grid view builder is just like the list view builder However, puts his children in a grid form. So I'm gonna type instead of a list builder, comment the list builder out. And I'm using a grid view builder. So you can see I have a grid view builder here. Okay, and the first argument this requires is a grid dedicated. Awesome. And this grid delegate takes this widget. 
this liver with delicates with fixed cross and discounts. Now, this widget fixed cross and discount. That's the number of grid you want in one horizontal view. I'm going to specify three cross as this spacing. And then name as this spacing as well. Okay, so basically, what is cross as this spacing? Then as this spacing, the space around each grid box. Still in the grid view builder, it will take another property scroll direction that the direction you want to be able to scroll as this dot vertical. I want to scroll in the vertical plane. So from the scroll direction, because it's just like the list view builder, so we can have item builder and item count. And our item count will just be the length of our living things list. I'm going to say okay. And then this builder is going to take a build context context index and then I just I want to use this exact data I'm just gonna copy this and then return it here and I'm gonna take out this height and this width and run this thing. So you can see you have some nice game here. So basically all the grid builders divide your children into grid. So these are the spacing 3.0 around each grid. So each grid has a space of 3.0 around it. So this grid 1, grid 2, grid 3, all the way up to the end of our list. So this is how the grid view also works. So let me move this just so I have make the color only one just so that you can see it well so it's actually something like this so more like the lazy builder but then this one it has more or less like boxes for the children okay so to wrap up for this video we we're able to use the list view builder and then the quick view builder and that will be it for this video Feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.